Here's a play Packers fans are going to love because it's Eddie Lacy in the backfield here, but it's more the focus on Mike Daniels again. It's the fourth quarter. Most defensive linemen are gassed at this point. Daniels is no mere mortal here, however. Seahawks are in the red zone. They're driving. They're trying to get with get a touchdown to make this game closer. It's 17 to 6 at this point. They're trying to get it uh, to 17 to 14 or 13 or maybe 12, depending on how the extra point goes, obviously. And it's first down here, and Mike Daniels is going to wreck a running play here. Like I said, that's how he made his name on. But you're going to see here again, Daniels lines up over the guard, and they have every opportunity here to actually shift in between that to the center. And once he shifts, you can see right here, he's already won the line of scrimmage. The center's already pushed back. This guy could not block him throughout the entire course of the game. He nearly pushes the center into Russell Wilson. He's going to break off the center once he sees it. Lacey has the ball. Lacey has the ball, and he has nowhere to go. Now, I want to highlight Nick Perry on this play as well, because as you can see, a lot of the plays that Mike Daniels made, Nick Perry was involved closely on here as well. Daniels blows this play up, and Perry's there to finish him off. But that is a big play in the backfield. It puts Seattle behind the chains and puts them in a predictable situation. When the Seahawks offense is at its best, it's when they're ahead of the sticks, and they can run Russell Wilson on play action, bootlegs, and stuff like that. But when they move him back like this, there's nothing to do. That's Mike Daniels and his absolute carnage that he left. The Seattle Seahawks' entire offensive line should be seeing nightmares of number 76 just running by them here. There's a subscribe button at the bottom of this. I appreciate you guys in for watching. For the first week here of the Green Bay Packers Seattle Seahawks showdown, and hopefully this is another matchup we get later in the season. By later in the game, I literally mean two plays later. So here's Daniel's lineup. It's a third down. The Packers trail three to nothing at this point, and they're really looking for something to give them a spark. So on this play, you have Perry and Matthews on the edges. They have Kyler Fackrell in the middle and then Mike Daniels here over the left guard. And you'll see right off the bat here, he's going to break off the line and then he just kind of sheds the guard like he's not even there. Now, the guard ducks his head, which is terrible technique, but Daniels has the quickness to get around that and he's going to get after one of the most mobile quarterbacks in football. Russell Wilson sees him and he starts to try and break. Daniels does not quit. He stays after the ball and he strips a fumble right into the arms of Kyler Fackrell. Fackrell. Now, if you watch here, one of my favorite things about this play is him. You guys remember that scene in The Dark Knight when the Joker's walking away as the hospital just explodes behind him? That, but without like the startling revelation from the Joker. That's what Daniels looks like. It's like a bunch. All right, let's get to some of the wild plays here. Here you got Mike Daniels lined up next to Clay Matthews. The Packers are in their base defense because the Seahawks have two tight ends on the field. It's a run formation. But that doesn't mean they're not going to pass. And Daniels here shows off his improved hand-fighting ability against the Seahawks' right guard. He comes right off the ball, and he's got a swim move right here, and he shoves him away. That looks like a move that a polished pass rusher would have. Now, Daniels hasn't gotten the ability to be in a polished pass rusher over the years. He breaks right through the middle, and Wilson doesn't have a chance. He's got Wilson wrapped around his legs. He splits the sack with Nick Perry, but that play does not happen if Mike Daniels does not break through the middle. His hands on this play were absolutely phenomenal. That was a great play by Mike Daniels, and it sets up for even bigger stuff later in the game. Now, while he has a new role as a pass rusher, let's not forget Mike Daniels made his name in this league by stopping the run. So here's a play late in the second quarter before Mike McCarthy foolishly starts calling some of his timeouts. Daniels is going to be on the opposite side of this run. As the play snapped here, Daniels gets he beats the cut block from the right tackle, so that's a good start here. But again, the play's away from him. As you can see, there's some guys here, they're just going to kind of wait and wait it out, and that's fine. That's kind of how the game goes sometimes. But instead, Daniels continues to chase the play down. Him and Martinez, they make a big hit. That's something that adds up over the course of the game. And again, Daniels making his name in the run game, along with continuing to progress as a pass rusher, and he shows off that motor that never quits. Mike Daniels was a star in this game, but sometimes it's those little effort plays that get you after and get you really well graded in the coach's eyes. Here's Daniels and Martinez showing just that. Okay, let's start this one here with the player of the game last week. You got Mike Daniels right here in the middle. He's right over the center. Packers went with a pass rushing package here of Ahmad Brooks, Clay Matthews, Nick Perry, Mike Daniels, and Joe Thomas. A little different from the NASCAR package they read a year ago, but as you can see and as you'll see throughout this video, getting Daniels more opportunities to rush the passer might turn out to be a really good thing. So this is what we're going to start with. Daniels is over the nose here with Russell Wilson. 
And this is a play where you can see Daniel's variety skill set and his ability to get off the ball in different times of need here. And this is a pass rush rep here. So he gets off the ball and he blows the center right back. That's power, that's strength, and that's ability to get off the line of scrimmage all in one spot here. So it's a good start to his rep. The center recovers a little bit to knock him off of his spot because if he's not, this is an easy sack of Russell Wilson unless Wilson's able to do what he does with his little Houdini act and get away. But instead, Daniels falls down a little bit but as you can see, something that about Daniels that's always been the case is his motor. He doesn't quit. So Daniels gets up off of the ground here, and he gets enough pressure on Wilson to hurry him enough. And as you can see, you'll see here a wide receiver streaking wide open down the field, and it's a walk-in touchdown if Mike Daniels is not in this spot. You've got Lockett with that much separation from Devon House. This is a touchdown if Mike Daniels doesn't have pressure on the quarterback. Instead, Pass falls harmlessly to the turf, and Devon House owes Mike Daniels a pizza. Here's a third down play again. It's another pass rush rep. You have Clay Matthews, Ahmad Brooks, Mike Daniels, and Nick Perry. A little more traditional this time around. Another play off the ball here. This is a stunt. Perry goes inside, and Daniels is supposed to loop around. That's a lot to ask for a bigger guy. But Daniels has the quickness enough to get through that. Perry also does a good job of getting everyone's attention to where Daniels now is a free run of the quarterback. Now, Matthews beats... His man off the edge, and he's got a free run to the quarterback here. Wilson's ability to get away allows him to beat Matthews off the play. But look at the rest of this play. It would be easy for Mike Daniels to look around and see that Perry and Matthews have Russell Wilson chased and ready to make a play. Instead, Daniels has a motor that doesn't quit. He keeps after the quarterback. He forces what is a completion, but the Packers are able to box him in and knock Jimmy Graham on the ground. That all starts with pass rush. It's a stunt. It's a twist. Last year... The Packers were doing those sorts of things with Julius Peppers in the middle. Now Mike Daniels kind of taking a bit of that Julius Peppers role and having some production as a pass rusher.